Yeah, so... Um, and I know it's uh, uh, your lawyer has advised you to... To keep busy and stay out of trouble. Busy and stay <laughs> out of trouble because you talk. <laughs> um, I... Uh, but but I don't, I don't just talk. I'm, yeah. not, I'm, I'm never random. Yeah. Um, the divorce was granted um, only just less than two months ago. Oh. It was a year, five-month legal battle, um, heavily contested, nasty. Um, it drained me emotionally, physically, financially. Mm. <laughs> Um, but I think all that was necessary because I was not about to settle under terms that were going to come back to bite me yeah. later on in life. Yeah. Um, Noah's still a minor. He's turning 16 on Sunday. He's a spring baby. Happy birthday, Noah. <laughs> Mommy loves you. You know that. Um, Big brother is doing his second year in D.C., Washington, that is, studying psychology. Oh, Amazing. Wow. Yeah. He's got a, he's an incredible human being. I love you too, Nathan. He's sleeping now, six yeah. hours away, uh, six hours behind. Um, it, it's been quite a ride, um, quite a roller coaster, and I'm just grateful at the support system that I have yeah. because had it not been for that I would not be sitting here with you today mm -hmm. I think I would have either been in a mental institute um, or I would have actually died sure. and, and I'm not exaggerating when I say yeah. that you know I've survived I see you where my life had to be spared you know um, a team of surgeons had to come together at quarter to midnight yeah. one night I think it was a team of eight heavily qualified so, yeah. people who needed to save my life. And I'm here. <laughs> and I thought surviving ICU was the worst experience. No, <laughs> it was not. The last year and five months have been, if, if, if I ever needed to know what hell looks or feels like, I've been there and mm. I came out of it. Mm. And what you're seeing now, it's a phoenix. Come on, get it. And there's no stopping me. Because I've been through it. I've been through the fire. And the fact that I came out of it alive from those ashes, it means you've got another force that you're going to have to put up with. The point I'm trying to make is that all that I experienced in the last year and five months happened for my own good. I believe that everything happens for a reason. Mm. And it was all to strengthen me, to test my faith, and to see how well anchored I am. And it happened for me to see what an incredible support system that I have. I speak about my mother, my aunt Rebecca, my aunt Gidi, my aunt Tiny Catherine. They are amazing human beings. Yeah. Um, my sons have been an incredible pillar of strength. Um, you know, my 16-year-old calls himself my bodyguard. Come on. I'm supposed to be looking after him. You yeah. Know, as his mother, it's my responsibility. This is Noah, right? This is Noah. Yeah. I call him the little one, even though he's almost two meters tall. <laughs> like I said, he's turning 16 on on Sunday. He's a spring baby. So it's, it's, I always have to remind myself that, you know, don't speak to him like an adult. He's only 15, but his height can sometimes make you forget that sure. you're speaking to with everybody. No, he's, 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 he's a giant, yeah. you know. Um, they, they both are. Yeah. They're both almost two meters tall. They took out their, their father, obviously. Mm. Um, and so having my boys show me the love that they show me and that not once did they ever judge me they love me unconditionally. They remind me daily what an incredible mother I am. Yeah. And that keeps me alive. My boys are the reason I'm still alive because... Sure. 
hi everybody and welcome to my channel listen you guys this was sonia both basically talking about how she's feeling now that her divorce is finalized finally finally you guys it's been how many years now we learn about the uh the tupperware the cheesecake in was it 2022 or 2021 that's when we knew that there was trouble in paradise okay well some of us thought it was paradise but i'm sure she had been going through some things in her marriage so she probably already knew that it wasn't paradise but for the rest of us we thought it was paradise that's when we learned that there was a tupperware that went missing and there was a side check and it was a whole big story it's one thing for you know your husband to cheat but it's another if your husband is a public figure and he is cheating publicly and he's not even ashamed of it okay he's not even hiding anymore that was that must have been hard for her i don't want to lie guys that must have been hard for her so she was going through a divorce in public with a husband that was already in another relationship looking like he's not even trying to make his marriage work and he's not even trying to make it look like he's wanting his marriage to work so it must have been painful for her but here she is you guys on the other side she has made it she is okay so even you out there if you're going through something and you think that this is the end of you mm -mm, it's not it's not and she got that okay, guys listen one day you find any need keep it it's a civilian just in the ganja lose my cock a bong guess about she's yeah one of the day and one of the day keep her it it is the day is so pummel and gala go by high shame i'm a daughter i ask if for why as if for why i'm angel up as a size hook when it's a size or shut up and i need a fit so please make a decision right now go to see by she's a name thank you so much for watching this video please like it before come again share it with your friends with your family and even with strangers in it's under kako Virgins had to come together at quarter to midnight yeah. one night. I think it was a team of eight heavily qualified Sorry. people who needed to save my life. And I'm here. <laughs> and I thought surviving ICU was the worst experience. No, <laughs> it was not. The last year and five months have been, if, if, if I ever needed to know what hell looks or feels like, I've been there and mm. I came out of it mm. and what you're seeing now it's a phoenix come on get and there's no stopping me because I've been through it I've been through the fire and the fact that I came out of it alive from those ashes it means you've got another force that you're gonna have to put up with the point I'm trying to make is that all that I experienced in the last year and five months happened for my own good. I believe that everything happens for a reason. Mm. And it was all to strengthen me, to test my faith, and to see how well anchored I am. And it happened for me to see what an incredible support system that I have. I speak about my mother, my aunt Rebecca, my aunt Gidi, my aunt Tiny, Catherine, they are amazing human beings. Yeah. Um, my sons have been an incredible pillar of strength. Um, you know, my 16-year-old calls himself my bodyguard. Come on. I'm supposed to be looking after him. Yeah. Know, as his mother, it's my responsibility. This is Noah, right? This is Noah. Yeah. Um, I call him the little one, even though he's almost two meters tall. <laughs> like I said, he's turning 16 on on sunday he's a spring baby so it's it's i always have to remind myself that you know don't speak to him like an adult he's only 15 but his height can sometimes make you forget that sure he's speaking he to you with everybody no he's, he's 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 a giant yeah you know um they, they, they both are yeah they're both almost two meters tall they took out their their father obviously mm. um and so having my boys show me the love that they show me and that not once did they ever judge me. They love me unconditionally. They remind me daily what an incredible mother I am. Yeah. And that keeps me alive. My boys are the reason I'm still alive because... Sure. 